guys this is mast and welcome back to some more smite conquest today we're doing a little jotun's uh okay. uh culling i what, whatever the new jotun's glyph is man we're abusing it it's it's actually really dumb on fenner i played it the other day um without doing any science and i couldn't tell for sure but it seemed like it was doing some dumb stuff basically the idea before i even tested it was that uh you get a 25 percent potential cooldown reduction on your next ability uh fenner abil or fenner fenner ability fenner one can already reduce itself by 30 percent by landing it do they stack do they work together or do they kind of troll each other where like fenner one goes first and then the other goes first um, yeah, they stack. It's <laughs> you can get like over 50% reduction on it, which is really, really gross. So a lot of potential in it. Let's see. Do we go for the, the zero XP invade real quick? I think we do. I think we go for the absolute potato farm invade and hope he sets not dead because she really shouldn't be. It looks like she's fine. Okay. They were looking a little close to her, so I got a little bit spooked. Um, yeah, seriously, I... <laughs> <laughs> this is like kind of good because it means you take away farm. I hate this invade so much, man. It's not that it's like actually bad. It's just it feels terrible because you get so little out of it. Uh, do we just not get to do things? Oh, uh, we just don't get to do things. I don't think I don't think she's got the follow up. Yeah, it's too bad. It was worth a shot, man. I was hoping she just had cooldowns. I think she had absolutely none. But yeah, we get a nice uh, what like 30 XP average per camp right there on the invade. Pretty good. I'd say 30 XP is a lot, right? Right? How much do we get right here? 30 XP from one minion. Even more XP from big minion. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous how screwed you get, man, because you do get one third of the farm. So you sort of deny them farm, but you also kind of do nothing while you deny them farm. I really think, uh, I think invades early game need to be buffed up, man. It's ridiculous how bad it is. I don't want invade meta. Don't get me wrong. Um... But, but my god, man, if high res wants to, like, baby people a bit and, and nerf the farm that you get from invading, at least make it, like, you get half farm, because, oh my god, it's so bad when you get a third. It's actually, like, they might as well make it zero, man. It's so little. They really might as well. All right, we're only clearing here, because Isat's not here yet. Might as well do something. Might as well attempt to actually clear the wave, instead of letting it just push into tower. So, we'll go grab ourselves a speed buff. But yeah, let me actually peek the glyph, man. Um... Jotun's cunning. I said culling. I think it's close, right? It's one letter off, sort of. One letter twice. But yeah, pretty interesting glyph that I think most of the time is not going to be very good. Um, I think normal situations is not going to stand out that much. Don't get me wrong, like it's it's viable. It'll do things. But normally it's not like a cheese glyph. It's not where, ooh, it's going to be so good here. It's more like on some gods, it'll be acceptable. And that's going to mostly be it. It's not going to be a crazy impact. But it does stand out a little bit more on Venner. Um, because it does actually stack with his one. The one doesn't troll it at all. Okay, this should be pretty free blue in Wait, he has it? No, he's just very blue. Okay. <laughs> I saw blue, man. It's just the skin. Okay, wait. We have to go on him here. We've got to try. Okay, she just didn't do it. Whatever. We get beads. Hopefully this is still free. Yeah, Nem's still just literally not here. Speaking of Nem not being here... Speaking of which, they just had to make her back, man. Yeah, I'm going on it. I'm going on it. They just had to make her back by killing her, huh? We still get it. It's pretty free. But yeah, it's a cool interaction, man. I'm actually really excited to try and uh, mess around with it on some other people and see if it feels like it's any good. But I think it's going to be something where I haven't thought of anybody else yet where it's really going to stand out that much. It's normally just going to be a decent glyph where you'll feel some impact and that's going to mostly be it. Hi. Don't mind me. I just I just want the rest of them, if that's cool. You, what? Get out of here. Stop it! Don't make me farm! Uh, I don't think we kill her quite, right? Maybe? Yeah, we do. Alright. It was getting close, man. It was getting close. If we didn't have the range, she was going to be able to dip. But she doesn't have a speed buff, so that doesn't make... Oh, guess who doesn't have beads? Guess who does <laughs> Guess who doesn't have beads? It doesn't even matter. We do just kind of kill him, but... Yeah, no beads for the rock, man, huh? By the way, I can't, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, this dude had like 50,000 stars on Geb. So naturally he's not playing him support because he's probably a little sick of it. Whoops, I didn't realize Mulan was going to TP. We could have split that. I miss Fenner, man. I need, I need a little bit of micro cheese on Fenner like this in my life. 
Um, it's also worth noting Bumba's Fender before was already very good. So if you want to play an aggressive Bumba's Fender build, it's going to stand out that much more now that Bumba's is a more aggressive item. Pretty big deal for him. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that part of him too. But with the whole one cooldown cheese, what we can do if I can do math, um, which I maybe can't to be fair, but 15 second cooldown, right? So that should go down to a nine second cooldown once we have full cooldown. And then if we want and land it, that should go down to about a six second cooldown. And then if we also get the Jotun's proc, uh, which we're not going to finish right now, by the way, because it's not there's not that much of a point yet. Um, if we also get this Jotun's cunning proc, then it's going to go down to about a three second cooldown. So, <laughs> yeah, we're turning this currently while well, we just finished Jotun's, but originally 15 second cooldown between cooldown reduction and Jotun's cunning and just landing the one. We're turning it from 15 seconds into a three second cooldown without Bumba's. So then if we do have Bumba's and we auto cancel properly, we turn it into a zero second cooldown for one of those jumps, which is crazy. So, yeah, you get some Fenrir cheese out of it, man. You really do. Other gods, maybe not as much, but Fenrir, oh my God, does he get the hook up here? Yeah, but I can just 1v2 maybe. Okay, they're scared. Never mind, I'll just take some purple. If they'll allow it. Wait, Cab, you feel like dying? What? What are you doing? Oh, I was gonna try and jump over the impale, but whatever. Actually, don't even need to ult, right? Don's got it. <laughs> I guess I got it. I don't know why he went in there, man. I don't know what he expected to happen. He knew I was there, right? Like, he ran away. I think, I mean, he wanted on her to turn really bad and on her just wasn't feeling it, but there was a reason on her wasn't feeling it. Dude, they are just spoon feeding me buffs. Oh my God, we get speed buff, we get purple, we get red. Give me all this shit, man. Oh, is there not a baby? I thought there'd be a baby coming to this. Do I get a green? I get a green. Oh my, we are yanking every colored buff ever. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Let me get speed timer. Let me get blue timer. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, this one's not up. Fair enough. We gotta peek the blue buff, though. We gotta see. Enemy missing left. What are you guys doing down here? Stop. I think this should be de dead Nem in a sec. I don't think there's any way she gets out. Come on, where do you think you're going, Nem? He got beads again. He's got beads again. I probably shouldn't have bothered. I was like 90% sure, but they could have gotten beads when they fought just now, you know? It was possible. All right, now, now he winked blue. Can you please? I am trying. Oh, this isn't up. Oh. I could have sworn we'd gotten timer on it. You know, I am about to ignore this Gabrakin so hard, and I think it's going to trigger him. Well, it, it seems like it already is. <laughs> it does seem like it's getting to him a little bit. He's just running me down, man. All right, we do this. We go to red. I got to see when that speed spawns. I don't think there's any way we get to invade it, right? Because she's going to be ready for it on timer, probably. And I have no clue what the timer is. But I got to look for it, man, just in case. Just in case we're presented with an opportunity. So, build-wise, other than the actual glyph that we're going to get later on, I don't want to get it right now because I feel like it's not as important right now. Um, in general, getting, like, almost any glyph is just not worth rushing early game, even if the glyph is okay, just because you're stalling your build. And that matters a lot early on. There's so many power spikes you get just because you have, like, no items yet, you know? Yeah, we should have gotten probably a, uh, eh, might not have mattered. Probably should have hit one more auto for a bigger three, gotten passive. Come here. No, you're dead someday, Nem. Oh, <laughs> maybe, maybe a little sooner than I thought. <laughs> All right. Pretty big Donzolt. I guess we can try. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, this is going to absolutely slap. We don't have a tank here for this yet. We also don't have an E-set ult. Oh, they know the leash! Oh my god, they know the leash! Wait! Look at that! Did they, I feel like, is it just me or should they really change the way that, um, that aggro works with stuff like Gold Fury and... I guess Fire Giant doesn't stand out because Fire Giant's just, like, stationary, but the Gold Fury and Titan, we got hit by an auto there even though I wasn't aggroed. <laughs> And I think, I don't know, is it just me or is that kind of stupid that you can body block stuff like that? And it's 99% of the time it's going to be on accident, right? It's so, it's so funky. It's like, it's not supposed to hit you, but it does hit you, but it's an AI though, right? Like why, why does that shit have hitboxes on it? And why does it only hit one person if it's got a hitbox that you can somehow body block? It makes no sense, man. I swear it makes no sense. Oh, we could have gotten glyph there. That would have been good. I didn't realize we had perfect money for it. Uh, you guys inting a little bit? Or do you win this eventually? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we are going to have passive. Hang on. 
Hang on. Maybe a little... Oh. Alright, have tower. Just, just have tower, Kabracken. What's up? I'm assuming there's no way we kill him, but I think we get to do this for a sec. Yeah. If we had our three any sooner, I could have threed him and killed him. Yeah, let me just pad stance if that's okay. Wait, do we kill you? Wait a minute. No. No, I can't eat that much tower damage. Alright, um... I don't remember if he had blue or... Oh, fine. Dude, these guys in their sweaty calls. <laughs> it's good, but, you know... Why do pyro when I can get the mental damage of doing their blue buff? You know... It's more satisfying that way. Hopefully we actually managed to out secure this. Uh-oh. Wait, this might get bad. This might get a little bad. Wait, <laughs> dude. High res, please. Oh my god. I hate that mechanic so much. It's so stupid. Yeah, if you guys don't know, little little knowledge drop. If your god is old, they can cancel the jump before it lands sometimes. If you're Fenner, it's it's twice as likely, because just for, for some reason they coded him that way. Yeah, we got Geb Shockwave before we land, which means no damage, no stun, CC'd in the air. Good time. Good time. All right, we don't really have money for stuff, so I think we'll actually upgrade this. One thing to keep in mind is we're trying to combo this stuff, um, especially as we get deeper in the game and we're doing some Bumba's nonsense with it. God, holy shit, they came back fast. What? <laughs> Why is it 11 to 9? How many people did they just kill? Um... Yeah, normally when we're comboing this, if we hit a god, we get a cunning proc um, with any damaging ability. That's going to be our 1-3 or ult, which means most of the time that's going to just be our 1 or our 3. Um, and then with that, we need to try and get two stacks, and then the next proc will proc the actual cunning. doesn't give you a stack, and then you start getting stacks again. So that's one thing that is a little funky for Fenner, is you don't get stacks frequently enough. It's something that works a lot better for, a, uh, for three core abilities that you're trying to cycle instead of two. So we'll like one, get a stack, three, get a stack. Our next one gets reset, but then we'll go three and then one and then the three gets reset. So it can get a little funky that way, where if you're actually just like cooldown cycling, it can go back and forth and not be as good. Um, I think there's also a secret cooldown on cunning, but I don't know what it is or how it works. When I was testing it, it looked like you didn't always get a stack. Like it looked like sometimes you proc it and then you wouldn't get a stack for a while. It doesn't say there's a cooldown unless I just can't read. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about there being a cooldown, but I'm pretty sure there secretly is. Which is fair. Um, <laughs> I don't think it's strong enough for it to be important, but like it's totally... Okay, Jesus Christ, we're not going to do this. Just like three people spread incredibly awkwardly throughout mid. I don't really know why. Let's see, what else do we go in this build? This is like legit the core right here. It's just Jotuns and Hydras and then eventually we get Bumbas and it's dumb. From here we can do a lot of different things. I guess against this team, I should absolutely go Fizz defense and be kind of cringy. So I think we're going to go, um, I think we're going to go Spectral will be really good. Super cringy. Um, we get his ult in a sec. Oh, that was so well played, but we might lose this anyways. Yeah, we got a dip. Hello. Yeah, we're dead as hell. <laughs> yeah, we just get golden bladed and wave. That sucks, man. I really hoped we had damage to kill. We really don't have damage to kill. I hit him reasonably hard. I think Mulan doesn't hit him too hard, though. Damn it, man. I don't know. It's so awkward fighting right now. Cupid ult hard counters me. Um, we're getting kind of, I don't know. We're getting in a lot of spots where it feels like I have to just like do too much damage for us to be able to actually kill people. And that we're just going to get deleted in the process. But this will be nice. One of these. I don't think Nem's gonna be going crit or anything, but I'm assuming Cupid will. These two will probably go crit, right? So far they're not. So far they're going ability based. It will be awkward if we build this and there's just like no reason for it. Let's see, actually go shell this game because they have so many autos. Yeah, we are falling behind awfully fast. He said is having some trouble in mid, and then because of that trouble, we don't really get a fight mid because we just get <laughs> I just get hyper focused. I think I probably should just farm for a while, honestly. You guys chilling? Okay, well, I'd like to farm, but I have to help them not get murdered, I think. Okay, we get a little beads down. Nice, nice. You really had to go Aegis, huh? Okay, this guy should be dead as hell. Ooh, we can do some sweaty calls. <laughs> you shouldn't have come back. Now the calls are going to get even sweatier. You shouldn't have tried it. God, I want to kill that baby. 
He looks so juicy. Soul's kind of getting himself baited right now. See, I didn't take the baby bait. I knew better. Like, I want to do it, but... Hang on. Hang on. Now? No, he knows. Oh, big body block. Wait, does it actually turn into anything? Yeah, I kind of pre-jacked on the shell. I thought we'd eat more damage from Cupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever, we kill Cupid instead. It's fine. I really want to dive him. I doubt we get to. Yeah, she is going for it. More peel. More kill. Are you kidding me? She really lives through that? That sucks. Ah! Excuse me, boys. Yeah, we're getting like just barely off of killing these people right now. Wasn't that two barely drop kills? I think Nem lived with one HP and Geb lived with one HP, right? That kind of sucks. Can do pyro. <laughs> we can. <laughs> oh my god, dude, the calls are crazy this game. We really should have more of a lead. This is gonna be second pyro, second gold fury, right? And now we dip. Maybe do a little scorp. Yeah. I really like the um, the trend. I feel like almost every glyph, if maybe not literally every glyph they've come out with in this mid-season patch, I think are actually really good. Um, like, just well-designed. Like, some of them might not actually be good. I think, yeah, maybe the Magi's ones aren't as good. The Magi's ones are a little funky. But Magi's is also a funky. I don't know why they really put glyphs on Magi's, honestly. Because it's not a commonly enough bot item for, I feel like, um, for it to pay off, I feel like. Kind of a weird one to put stuff on. But they've been really cool so far. I like the, the direction Hyrus is going. A lot of the first ones were a little more um, underwhelming, I feel like. But but now they're on kind of a better track, I think. So, yeah, we could just go Nemean, I guess. But we also get no Nemean stacks from current prots. So that's probably pointless. Yeah, they're, go they're going zero crit so far. So far, it's not so good. Whatever, we're doing it. And I'm not going to go Breastplate. Let's see. Now we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the strat. I'm going to build so cringe into them. Oh my god, they're going to hate it. This is what you get for going double guardian. Yeah, this man's building fairly tanky. Obviously, Kabrakan actually building tanky. And then just, you know, three auto attackers. So, little anti-crit Nemean shell game with Bumba's cooldown spam. They probably get to do, like, nothing late game. Hopefully, we get to chase him down with this. Come here. Come here. No, come here. Yeah, poor Geb tried his hardest appeal. Can I please? I want to play the game. I want to play the game. More shell. God, our cooldown's crazy right now. Wait, where are you? What? <laughs> Dude, he's hunting. Oh my god. Guess. Wait, that's not. Wait, what? Did he actually? Okay, maybe maybe he wasn't hunting. I thought he was going for Dons. I don't know why he went this way if he wasn't going for Dons. Okay, let's see. Wow, basically everybody's dead. Let's see if we could invade anything. I think there's a pretty good chance we do. No? Oh, I don't even have words to chuck. This game's so funky, man. We started off by farming them. Then they came back really hard. We're actually doing objectives in a casual, and I don't even have to call them. The team calls them. I started calling them because the team was calling them. Um... <laughs> Like, they're actually on point with the objective calls, and now we're winning again. I just... I don't... What is happening? Did I secretly Q ranked? I don't know. Don't you... Come on. Don't you try this. There might be a gap. We should actually probably chill a little bit. Okay, I think we just win this now. I don't think she gets shield. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, that was going to make me mad. Yeah, shield cooldown on them crazy long. She's not building cooldown, so... I figured we could just basically kind of stall that out, or as long as... As long as we wait it out and just kind of force her to commit a little more, and then just keep doing DPS over time, she just eventually loses. Since she doesn't have the burst to begin with. If she was more ahead, if she was more even in farm, that might not have been a good fight. Or if, if I wasn't counter building and actually building defense. But we do get to tank a bit of damage. Decent amount. Nice, we're actually getting really close to Bumba's too. Alright, so let me get my Cringe Nemean finished up. Then we'll work on Bumba's next. I think we just don't even buy anything right now. 
Look at that juicy 200 prot. Ooh, ooh. I think last item we probably just go a little, it's going to look a little funky since we're not going all that high damage of a build, but probably just serrated. Because because Ben will still be good. We still have we still have a lot of ability damage. And serrated gives us movement speed, which is nice. Oh. He went back in, huh? Let's see if we get to hunt him down eventually. Come here. Does he even need me for this? Just in case. I didn't want to let him impale me away. Like, otherwise we eventually catch him, but if the impale hit, it might have fucked up everything. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, maybe maybe we don't even get to go on Cabragon. We should probably go on a mid. Okay, I don't think that ult did too much. <laughs> oh my god, this CC chain. <laughs> Poor guy. What do you do about it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come here. I think there's a Geb around. Yeah, there is. Oh my, objectives really fine. It is a pretty good time for it. Can you not? Oh, <laughs> we're pyro round three. I didn't realize I was spawning. I guess we can do that too. Dude, this Geb is just, he wants to roll 24 seven. It's all he wants. He never stops. See if we can get a tiny bit more farm so we actually finish Bumba's. Oh, they're kind of going for it. They're kind of feeling it right now. I feel like the other team probably shouldn't fight this, but it seems like they are. Hi, Nem. Do you not remember what happened last time? Okay. And we do just get to do this, though. Oh, no. Oh, no, I threw. She's too zoomy, man. <laughs> If she doesn't blink, we kill her. Surely we... Dude. <laughs> okay, I don't have speed buff and she does. And that really is the difference right here. Hey, Honor. What are we doing? Int! Oh, what? what is that interaction? What? Oh my god, we almost died from that. That was, uh, that was something. Yeah, don't mind me just getting stunned from somewhere that I don't exist. This dude just, like, stunned me through time. New Cabrakan ability. That'd actually be sick, man. New smite mechanic where they just, like, somehow hit you where you previously were. They just have to, like, guess it where it was. That'd be really AIDS. I changed my mind. It'd be cool in, like, a conceptual way. Not in an actual in-game way. Wouldn't be as good. So we do actually have not terrible stats, thanks to Bumba's. It's actually straight up going to be our highest power item, um, at least unless we have like every single serrated stack at any given time. But yeah, 40 power, 40 power, 50 power. Overall, we have potato damage because um, I'm building really hybrid and we're not building like a trans or a heart seeker or Arendite or any of those actually high power items or blood forge. But but we do actually have some bonus power, which will be nice. Mostly we're just going to focus on ability damage and uh, Bumba's procs. And just being tanky as hell. Because now we get to do this to him. Hang on. Let's farm him one at a time. Yeah, so look at that cooldown. Like, that's something, right? That's something. Hang on, let me not get farmed. It looks like we might have been fine because the team followed it up. I was kind of scared. Yeah, they, they just killed everybody. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, I think we can probably do fire. I just need to heal a bit. If they're down, we can do it, I'm pretty sure. Bumba's OP, you know? Boys? Boys? Okay, they're coming. They're coming. Good. Yeah, look at that healing, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's actually crazy how little reduction we get when we're not getting the, uh, the jump reduction. I feel like you almost never see that. I haven't really thought about it. But when our jump cooldown's not getting reduced from hitting it, we actually don't have the best cooldowns. They're still low. They're like four seconds. But it matters so much for us to hit that jump, even without cunning. Just hit the jump and get that reduced. Because then you get to start cycling Bumba's faster. All right. If we can, it'd be nice to wait for next speed. Which actually, it should be easy enough. The hell them split pushing, huh? You want to get murdered, Nem? Get this thing going. 
But yeah, once <laughs> the moment we get this online, it's so ridiculous, man. Before that, you're just Fenrir, right? We're just playing pretty normal Fenrir. And then we get the bump is done, and like we're just like casually killing their team at 1v4 in a Cupid ult with no beads. Doing some through it through a Geb Shield, doing some pretty stupid stuff. Oh, hang on, hang on. Spectral might actually get to do something soon. Heavy executioner on her, huh? I respect the shit out of that, honestly. Hey, what are we doing? Played that kind of sick. I'm not gonna whoop. Not gonna lie. The beads into full brutalize was pretty good. Oh man, I thought we'd get a Cupid or not a Cupid ult. That's not who we're fighting. Thought we'd get a Gebel off of that. How do you still? <laughs> he still has stun up, man. He didn't use it for some reason, but he had it. Oh my god, that cooldown. Come here. Stop it. Yeah, this is gonna be game. We got the Bumbas online. It's over. We also actually get a uh, we get a lot of mana out of this build just coincidentally. Mana on Spectral and Nemean is 500. So <laughs> normally not gonna do that part of this build. It just happened to work out matchup wise this game. But oh my god, we're not running Oom anytime soon. That's for sure. Hang on, let me not get get bolted if we can. No, don't pull him to. Wait, is it down? Maybe it's down. Cupid, don't step out. I swear I'll murder if you step out. Nice. Yeah, so little uh, little refresher on the I, it's, I don't even know if you should call it Fenrir cheese because it's doing Bumba's things, but like the Fenrir meta cooldown reset cringe build that, that everybody ever hates when they go against it. Um, yeah, did get a little update this patch, L little buff with Jotun's cunning, which is cool, man. I really like I really like seeing Jotun's cunning actually. Wait, this skin? Why does this skin look so good? And it's literally just a recolor. Oh my god, that looks clean. Um, yeah, so strong, man. So ridiculous. Being able to reset Fender Jump even harder than you already could. Damn, Don's was pumping damage. My God. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. Sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down